guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be doing a updated cosmetology career for you. I have done two of these in the past, so this will be my third update, letting you guys know how my career is going. I have gotten so many questions since I moved into my house to make an update video on how I'm affording my house with my cosmetology career income. I will be answering all of your questions as well. I asked on my Instagram for you to send in any questions you had about my career. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. It's just at Molly Nicole XO. I will be telling you guys how much I make, all of the details that you guys are wanting to know will be answered in this video. If for some reason I don't answer your question, please make sure to write them in the comments down below and I will try to reply to all of you guys. I will have the links to all of my previous videos about my cosmetology career down below, so make sure to go check those out if you guys are wanting to start from the very beginning. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see how my cosmetology career is going, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So getting this video started, I did want to mention one thing that I am in a new background as you can see. I would love to know if you guys like it. I just wanted to try to switch it up for this video and try a new background since I have been using my normal background for so long. So I hope that you guys like it. I do have a few bullet points written down on my phone that I want to go through just so that I can keep this video as structured as possible. At the very end, I will be answering all of your questions that you did send in on Instagram. So make sure to stay tuned to the end. So if this is your first time to my channel, hello, my name is Molly. I have been in the cosmetology business for almost five years now. It's been four and a half years since I have actually had my job. I did get licensed in February 2014. So it has been four and a half years, which is absolutely crazy. I'm almost coming up on my five year. It's going to be here before I know it. I have been at my salon since I have gotten licensed, but I'm very happy to say that I'm still at my job. I have no intentions of moving anytime soon, if ever, honestly. I'm very happy with where I'm at. A lot of you guys have asked me if I have a goal of opening my own salon, and the answer to that question is no. I never have dreamed of opening my own salon just because I would not want to take on the amount of responsibility on top of being a hairstylist that you would have to take on. I really like being able to come home and not have to worry about anything when I get home, which is really nice. My boss does offer continued education, so we do have like two or three classes a year. So that is a huge plus. That was definitely one of the things that I really wanted to continue doing when I got out of school. I think a lot of hairstylists kind of get stuck in their ways, and I think it's a huge thing to continue learning and do continued education. I forgot to mention in my last video as well, I did put a little pop-up, but I do work in a commission based salon so I am commission I am an employee of the salon I don't do booth rent or anything like that and the commission that we get at my salon is actually really great it is 60 40 so we get to keep 60% the salon keeps 40 so just being again completely real with you guys I'm going to be telling you guys how much I make, how much tips I make every single year, and that will give you guys kind of an idea of what to expect if you're going into the career. For my clientele, I definitely feel like since the last update, it has grown. I would say it's definitely still not 100%. I don't really ever feel like my clientele would be 100% until my books are like completely full and I'm booking out like two weeks which I feel like is pretty hard to do, especially since I work full time. So I work five days a week and I work almost 40 hours a week. So that would be a lot of clients coming in every week. So I do obviously strive to eventually get there and that is my goal, but it's definitely not there yet. I am still taking a few Groupons here and there, especially if I have like a cancellation at the last minute and a Groupon calls in. It is really nice to be able to get someone in my chair instead of just sitting there doing nothing. I wanna to reiterate to you guys is that this career is not going to come easy money wise one week can be amazing the next week can be total and complete shit 
and you won't make very much money, but the next week will make up for it. So you have to really be good with your money, budget your money. When you get a good paycheck, don't just go and spend the whole entire thing because the next paycheck may be less than the paycheck that you had before. So it's all about just budgeting your money and not being stupid with how you spend is really what it comes down to. So now we're going to move on to the juicy details of how much I make, my tips, everything like that. A lot of you guys have asked how I afford my house, how I'm doing it on a hairstylist income or a cosmetologist income. Before I get into this, I just wanna let you guys know what exactly I do at my salon. So the services that I offer at my salon are makeup services, hair services, and waxing services. So I do not do the nail side of things or the facial side of things. So until last year, I did not feel like I could afford to support myself fully. I think I could if I wanted to in 2016, but it would have been kind of brutal. Like I would have been living paycheck to paycheck, which I've never wanted to do. In 2017, my income shifted crazy amounts. It's kind of insane how it happened, but I feel like it all started with my coworker going on maternity leave she went on maternity leave in February of 2017 and she was gone for about three months so a lot of us girls got a lot of her clientele while she was gone just kind of covering while she was taking care of her baby when she came back I was kind of expecting my income to go down quite a bit but it honestly didn't and my income has stayed pretty steady ever since then so 2017 was definitely a life-changing year in my career if I'm talking about like money wise and my income. So I was definitely very happy with that. I didn't go on a lot of vacations last year either. I think I went on two vacations, I think. So in total, I probably missed like a week and a half of work. So it wasn't a ton of work missed. I usually travel a lot. You guys probably know this if you've been watching me for a while, but I like to take vacations and just travel. It's a big thing that I do in my life. This year, I definitely am going to be taking more time off of work. I have gone to Mexico and Arizona so far, and I will also be going to Hawaii. So this year, I will probably take off close to like three weeks or three and a half weeks, depending on if I go on another vacation other than Hawaii. I know to most people that is a lot of time to take off, but again, travel is a super important thing in my life. I feel like I'm just super passionate about traveling and just taking that time off of work to relax and I don't know I feel like I'm young and I should do it while I can obviously if I never went on vacations never took vacation time I would be making a lot more but I choose to take that time off so just be aware of that so I'm going to tell you guys my income I'm not gonna tell you guys my exact to a T income obviously because I don't know it this year um, but I will also be telling you guys how much I make in tips as well. Again, all of this differs from year to year. It's kind of crazy, like I said, how much one week to another can differ in the cosmetology industry. So this year I should be making 50K, which is absolutely amazing to me. I never would have imagined four years into my career that I'd be making this kind of money, but I am super, super proud of myself and happy and thankful and all of the above to have the job that I have to be able to make the money that I'm making and also I do want to just throw this in here that my YouTube income also helps a lot. I do want to make a specific video about that so I'm not going to go too much into it but I do also have a second income coming in other than my cosmetology career. Tips are a huge part in our industry which I've mentioned in my last two updates videos as well a lot of you guys get offended when I say that it's disrespectful to tip but I do stand on that statement still I do feel like here in the US if you guys do not live in the US then it's going to be probably different but we do rely a lot on our tips from our services so it is a little disrespectful when we don't get tipped if the client is happy with their service but typically in a year span I make anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 just in tips so that should tell you guys that I do make a decent amount of my income from my tips 
So I hope that that helps you guys and lets you know how much you can make in tips. I do work in a pretty high-end salon as well, so I am able to charge a decent amount for my services, which I am, again, super thankful for. Again, know in this industry, if you do want to raise, you are in control of your raise. So the only way that you will increase your income is charging more. And another thing that I want to talk with you guys about is please charge what you are doing. I have learned this a lot in the last like year and a half to charge what I'm doing. A lot of times I would be scared to charge my client if I would do a toner or if I did an extra service, I'd always be nervous to charge what I was doing. And now I feel like I've become a little bit more confident and I am charging what I'm doing. So if if I do a toner, I am charging the correct price. Now that I have gotten all that out of the way, I'm going to go through on my Instagram and answer the questions that you guys sent in. I did get a decent amount, so I'm going to try to go through most of these fairly quickly. So the first question that I see it says, do you wish you would have went to college? I've gotten this question a ton and the answer is no. I do not wish that I would have went to college. I thought long and hard about it all through high school, especially my junior year. And realistically, I am so happy that I didn't go to college. I do not like school, to be 100% honest with you guys. I have never enjoyed school. I didn't do horrible in high school, but it just wasn't my thing. I don't like test taking. I don't like anything that has to do with school. So I do not regret it. I don't regret going to college for something that I honestly wouldn't have even used, that I would have had a ton of student loans and just, it wouldn't have been a good situation. So the answer is no, I do not regret or wish I went to college. The next question is, what is your favorite part of cosmetology? My favorite part is definitely hands down hair. I love doing hair. I also love doing makeup as well, but hair is definitely my favorite thing to do. I love doing color, especially balayage. It's one of my favorite things and one of my biggest passions in the industry. Next question says, what made you choose that career? The thing that made me choose the career is that I've always been passionate about the beauty industry. So I've always really been into makeup and hair. I actually did a good amount of my friend's hair while we were in high school. I did highlights on one of my friend's hair too and I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but I did it anyways and I always really loved doing it. So my junior year, I knew that I wanted to do it and I didn't want to go to college. What was your biggest struggle while going through the process? My biggest struggle while going through the process of going to like cosmetology school is what I'm assuming you're asking is kind of just getting through school in general. Cosmetology or beauty school is just not the most fun thing in the world, especially the school that I went to. I went to Paul Mitchell. It's just a lot of girls. You're in a school of all girls. There's gonna be cattiness, there's gonna be drama. Next question says, how much money did you make as an apprentice? Tips on building up clientele. So when I first started for the first like six months, I did, I guess, quote unquote, apprentice. I shadowed one of the girls. I did start on hourly. I did make like, I think it was like 10 50 an hour when I first started. So I did watch her. I learned so, so much from watching her and standing there every single day, just seeing how she applies color and stuff like that. Tips on building clientele. I would say Groupon for sure. I know it's hard, but that does help. Advertising and social media for sure. Start a social media account, use the correct hashtags, and try to post every single day. The next question says, what got you into cosmetology? By the way, love you, love you as well. The thing that got me into cosmetology is honestly YouTube. I feel like I started watching YouTube probably at the beginning of my high school. So that was 2009, I started watching YouTube, and I really loved like all the beauty YouTubers and I really liked watching hair tutorials so I would 100% say YouTube. I also feel like I had a little bit of influence from my hairstylist that used to do my hair as well. Her name was Stephanie and she actually owns her own salon now which is kind of crazy so those two things definitely influenced me. So the last question that I'm going to answer says how long did it take you to start making good money as a stylist working in a salon? So it took me a good 
three years, I would say, to start making good money. Like I said, it does usually take three to five years to start building and really making a good income in this industry. So it's not going to be fast. You're going to have to be patient and persistent on building your clientele. And if you are passionate about it, it'll all be worth it in the end. So that is all the questions I'm going to answer for this video. It is super long already, I can tell on my camera. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Like I said, if you have any other questions that I didn't answer, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous.